a game like yesterday as a defense, kind of how do you bounce back from that, especially the day after? Um, I think you, uh, everybody has to look themselves in the mirror, you know? Um, but more than anything, uh, just be honest with yourself, take away what you can from it. Um, but it's nothing we can do now. You know, it's on to the next week. So uh, continue to do what we've been doing. We've been in every game that we played. Uh, continue to trust the process and uh, really just continue to have like a positive mindset, staying together, um, figuring out what it is exactly um, that each person can do individually in order to, you know, get the outcome that we all want. How much more difficult is that when you guys already have a good amount of players that were out due to injury, but then in a game like yesterday, you've got Hamilton coming in and out with injuries. You lose Jalen Thompson. I mean, how much more difficult are those aspects you have to, right? Like, it's, it's easy to say next man up. It's another to do it and, like, be just as effective. Like, what are the challenges with a game like that with those injuries? Well, you just have to trust that everybody on the team cares as much, you know, as those guys who are those great players, such as JT, Missing Buddha, LJ, you know, all those guys that, you know, we have out. Because um, it is that next man mentality. Um, but, I mean, everybody's getting those same, you know, mental reps. Everybody's getting those same coaching points. And uh, just really trusting your guys. Like, worrying about it isn't going isn't gonna to help the situation at all, you know? So uh, just, again, positive mindset. Like, that's really the biggest thing that um, I think we have and that we, you know, um, can continue to have in order to get where we want. Because if we go elsewhere, it's not going to go, you know. Is, that, um, more, is it a little more difficult when, if the losing were to continue, the positive mindset? How do you keep that in your focus if, if the team happens to lose? Uh, I mean, at the end of the day, it's, it's a blessing to do what we do, um, to play the game that we play. Um, nobody likes losing. That's why we're all here. We're competitors, you know. So that's obviously not the the outcome, you know. So that part isn't necessarily positive, but, you know, the ability to get better, the ability to have the opportunity to be out there and play the game that you love in front of, you know, X amount of fans. Um, and, and doing it with your brothers, guys that you love, um, the camaraderie, all of that, like that's the positivity that, you know, I'm more so speaking to. For the goal line stand, I was. So what? What were you guys discussing? What were you seeing? You know, the third and one stop, the fourth and one stop, and you know, Kayvon's running. I don't think I can give you the verbatim things that we were saying, <laughs> but it was more so, you know, just like one one play at a time, one play at a time, one day at a time, one. You know, that's kind of you know that's our mindset here. That's our attitude. So it was just one more time, like don't let them in, don't let them in, and. Um, like I said, that's not exactly what was being said out there. Um, and, you know, to be quite honest, I might black out from time to time. So I don't even remember exactly what was said, but I can tell you it wasn't PG-13. <laughs> when you have a sequence like that, an emotional sequence, and the crowd gets behind you, and then a couple plays later, obviously, it goes the other way uh, with Josh's interception. How, how do you kind of rally your mind around that. You, you feel like you, you just did this great thing to push you in the right direction and it kind of gets turned. Let's just go do it again. Like I've, I learned early in my career from a former defensive coordinator that it's just more TV time for us. You know what I mean? It's just, it's just another chance for us to go out on the field and you know, put on a show. So that's, it, we don't care where you put the ball down. We're gonna play, we're gonna play defense, we're gonna hit, we're gonna run, and that's what we do. So that's really the mindset as we take the field at that point. What was the feeling of just getting back out there with your teammates and how you feeling now? Oh, after? phenomenal. I missed it. I missed it so much. It felt so good to be back out there with my guys. Um, just, you know, like I said, it's a blessing. And you, you realize very quickly how quickly it can be taken away from you. So um, just appreciative um, of, you know, the training staff and everybody allowing me to get back and my guys having my back. And, you know, just happy to be out there. I was going to ask, like, You've been waiting so long to get this opportunity and then to get hurt in game one that must have played with your mind a little. Went down a rabbit hole, but had to come back out of it. Um, I know it's a lot of guys that look up to me, uh, you know, around this building and, you know, just overall bat for morale. You know, if I'm sulking, like, it's, it's not about me. I'm trying to help the next guy, whoever's about to fill my shoes, which happened to be KB, and he played phenomenally for 
X amount of weeks. So um, obviously, you know, battle with that. You know, it's, it's okay to sit in that, that night, you know, but when you come into the building the next day, like I said, like that positivity mindset that, you know, just being a light for everybody else around me. Okay, I can't impact the team on the field, so let me figure out a way to impact it off the field. Uh, JG's talked, especially the first couple weeks, he really harped on with us, like, okay, results are important in this league, but I'm about the process. And I go back to what you were saying, like, the law, you don't want the losses, your, your, your competitors and all that, but it feels like that message from JG can really help a team that is trying to grow together, and maybe you won't see the results you want week to week, but it's about the process of getting there. Yeah, so Nick, actually, Nick Rallis, our DC, just gave us a, like a little quote he took from someone else and says that when a flower's growing, the, ro the roots grow first. So like, even though you might not see the outcome, the result that you want, the beautiful budding flower, like just know that that foundation is being set. So that's what we're hanging our hat on. That's what we're, you know, coming in every day to just trust the process, build this foundation. I mean, I've been a part of something very similar to this over in Detroit, and those guys are rolling right now, you know, so. Um, you just trust the process, continue to get better, do your part to get better, you know, and it'll, it'll turn the corner. Do you see that kind of happening with this team? Oh, absolutely. Um, but I see us in every, like we've been in every game that we've played. Um, and I don't think any team has just outright beat us. I feel like we've kind of beat ourselves in terms of just not executing things here or there or whatever. Um, so like there's there's hope in that you know it, it'd be different if we were losing fifty to zero every week like that's it's a bit of a, we might need to change that process but that's not the process you know that's not the outcome that um, we've been getting week to week so just keep chipping away at it. How much will it help to get Buddha back swimming against this week? Oh man, just I mean, everybody. absolutely. He's one. I mean, he's one of those guys. that's just the the things that he does on the field are just how did he do that? Like, you know, whether it's the practice field, game field, whatever, he's just a phenomenal player. So obviously it's going to translate to more playmaking abilities and, you know, hopefully takeaways and big hits and all that stuff, things to energize the team. Have you felt Bo on his ground? A lot, a lot. He came in and he just was kind of running around with his, with his head cut off. And, you know, Coach, Coach actually put a uh, – Coach Sam actually put a cut up together the other day of – um, you know, him taking some reps and just like doing all of the things that, you know, he's been trying to do or, you know, he's executing the things that we've been trying to get him to learn. And it's really good to see. Um, and the kid's a sponge. Like he just wants to know. It's never like, a, oh, but I saw this or, oh, but I, I was thinking that. Like, okay, you're right. You're absolutely right. You've been doing this longer than me. I'll take exactly what you say word for word and I'm going to try to apply it. So it's really good to see him grow. How's your chemistry kind of developed with Kaiser? It seems like you guys have a good bond out there on the field. Oh, yeah. That's my guy. Um, I don't know. We, we, we clicked instantly. Um, as soon as we, we got here in the spring, you know, we decided that we were going to do it. We are going to try to be the best tandem in the league. And um, we really push each other, whether that's on the field, in the classroom. Um, and then also just outside of the building as well. I think a lot of camaraderie is built outside of there. Um, much with the, most of my teammates. Is there a difference of maybe a little more excitement when there's so many different packages? Of sometimes there's two D linemen or three or one linebacker or multiple. I mean, does that make it a little more fun that you guys are constantly changing things on the field rather than having a set, you know, formation you're doing? Yeah, things? absolutely. Because it kind of puts them on there. Like it makes them think a little bit. You know, like on defense, you're kind of reacting to everything that the offense is doing. But it's like, nope, wait. We got a card too, you know. It's like our own reverse card, you know. <laughs> it's like nope, nope, right back at you. So it's pretty cool. Some of the things that we do schematically, um, not to necessarily get into any of the de not too many of the details, but it's really cool being able to have different guys fill different roles and them trying to, you know, maximize the amount of people who can help us on defense with those packages. Are there times where you can really tell, like, man, we really got in their head that for that play? Oh, absolutely. You can tell quarterback might get flustered or, you know, running back doesn't know which way to block or, you know, center looks, you know, everything play clock drop, drips down. It's, you can always tell. You can tell when they get flustered.